This video is powered by Swarovski Optic, the world leader in premium sporting optics. We're packing up and leaving Tepecam. We're going to film again today to see if we can improve on our birds. And then we are going back to Boa Vista, where we're going to stay there for a night and make another day trip and look for another hummingbird. So we hope to bring you some beautiful birds. But goodbye to Tepecam. This was a lovely place. And uh, let's see what's next. switch cars because uh, we were having a little bit of trouble with the other one. So now we're in this cool little Fiat. Francisco took us to a place where he had seen the white-chested emerald in the past, but we would have to make a bit of a climb up a hill. We just took a hike in the jungle, me three weeks until a total knee replacement, but nothing's going to stop me from getting my hummingbird. And there is a white-chested emerald around, so... Uh, we can hear him. We've already got a couple photographs of him and we're looking for him again. The white chested emerald has a mostly white chest and abdomen and bronzy green upper parts turning a coppery color at the rump and upper tail. Its crown and upper cheeks are a turquoise color. This hummingbird can only be found in Venezuela, Guiana, Suriname, coastal French Guiana, and the island of Trinidad, and here in the northern state of Roraima, Brazil. Well, now I know why they call this a rainforest. We were very happily photographing away up there, and all of a sudden, a downpour happens, and we had to climb down the hill. Uh, this is what we do. Good morning, Boa Vista, Brazil. This is our last day here, and we're going to go out and do some more hummingbird hunting. And word has it, there be coquettes around here. <laughs> We're in a beautiful place, and I wanted to show you this in case you don't know what a banana plantation looks like. This place is loaded with banana trees, and this is how they grow. These will get a little bit bigger and then turn yellow, but there are tons of them here. This is very cool. I'll show you how big these are. We were disappointed that we didn't see any coquettes, but we did get a video of a screaming piha. You can hear this call all over the Amazon. It's the end of the day. We're here in the Apiao mountain range and we've been trying to get pictures all day but sometimes you're really lucky sometimes you're not sometimes the birds are with you sometimes they're against you but you have to take every day as it comes 
Today wasn't the best day, didn't get pictures, but fortunately we got our targets before. We were looking for a coquette, didn't show up, but we'll have better luck next time. I also want to thank William Moriana for all he's done on this trip to help find the birds and a special thanks to Swarovski Optic for their support of Hummingbird Spot.